Dear students, this is a small video as an approach towards microbiology with respect to INACT exam which is coming up in the next 10 days. Microbiology should not be treated just as another subject, treat it as a bigger concept called as infectious disease because remember 60% of cases admitted in any of the wards in the clinical discussion departments will be made up of infectious diseases only. And so it means to say that if you understand microbiology properly, you will be able to clinically crack any kind of question related to the organism. Whenever they speak about diagnosis, your diagnosis should not be just infection when it comes to microbiology because microbiology by itself is an infectious condition, right? So if you are able to find out exactly which microbe are we dealing with or at least the group of organisms that is related to the condition then you are already in the winner's position you are in the driver's seat so how do you approach the study for microbiology remember you always begin for INSAT from the top to bottom but not in the deepest of ways possible you have to skim through the most important areas because you don't have much of time so what you do is read sterilization and disinfection chapter and the chapter where you discuss about culture media these areas every single line is worth its weight in gold you may spend approximately half an hour to one hour for both the important topics so that you will be able to get at least one question in your exam correct because question from this particular two topic will be definitely found in any kind of exam not just INSAT exam apart from that you might actually follow the old curriculum as in case of you read about bacteriology virology mycology parastology and immunology or you can go with a new curriculum where CBMA syllabus says that you will read about the systems cardiovascular system and all the infectious organisms including bacteria virus fungi parasites attacking the CVS then CNS GIT RS blood or gastrointestinal tract and genitourinary tract either you go in that particular pathway or in this particular pathway here you have to just crack what kind of clinical correlation you have to know for example e coli is the most common cause of uti all over the world e coli is the most common cause of travelers diarrhea among bacteria in the form of etac it means to say e coli can be learned as a part of git infections it is also learned as a part of ugt or gut infections but e coli is also the most common cause of sepsis so it can be a part of cardiovascular system blood infections also so try to relevantly learn about which organism is very important so if at all you don't read about staphylococcus or E. coli, mycobacterium tuberculosis, HIV and rabies or in case of the new age conditions like coronavirus, COVID-19, it will be injustice on your part to go for the INACT exam without learning all of them. So make sure you learn the most important organisms the way it has to be done and when you do that, try to recollect what kind of questions have been asked in those high yield areas in the past. Try to read all the MCQs that have come up in the most important exams called as PJ Chandigarh, Jipmer, Ames and Nimhans in the past 10 years. Now in the past 3 years you have been having INSAT. Learn the question papers and the answers for the questions from them also. If you are capable of preparing for these 10 years of question papers, it may take one day at a time for each year for all the 3 question papers. You will be on the winning streak for the exams. Do not worry about anything. You will be able to crack it. All the very best for your INSAT exams.